we're actually on time. My dad always says, early is on time and on time is early. We're actually on time, right? 12 o'clock. On time is late. late. <laughs> no, on time, no. no. <laughs> on time is late and early is on time. Yes. That's it. Yes. It's like you literally we are, <laughs> we are late. <laughs> <laughs> Which means we're starting at noon. Welcome back to Alive. We did not do any last week because we were on a mini vacay and we didn't work out at all. Not even a little bit. We, we did a lot of curls. Basketball. We did a lot of curls. I found I can drink six no. white claws. I can drink six white claws and two dos equis over the period of four hours. <laughs> and the vacation was not about saying how much you can drink. But we did enjoy some time off. Our bodies enjoyed time off. Um, so it is good to be back. Today is our second day back. Yesterday was rough. If you haven't worked out in a long time and then you start working out again, all of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about because mm -hmm. we've all been there, especially coming back from vacation. I feel like sometimes that's harder than uh, just starting to work out to begin with. So I say that because today we did another AMRAP so that we can kind of, we're doing a lot of AMRAPs. No. Because you get to move at your own pace, right? So depending on where you're at, your athletic level, and how you're feeling that day, like, you get to choose how fast, how slow, how intense, how much you want to bump it up and slow it down. So that's what we have for you today. It is a 10-minute AMRAP. Before we go into what um, the workout is, though, I want to touch base on a few things first. First of all, um, man, I did a video yesterday. I put up a video announcing that I was releasing um, a new brand called Hustle Cut, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited about. And you guys, man, y'all just gave me such incredible feedback and y'all went online and you signed up to receive my emails. Um, on top of that, you went in and started following me on YouTube. And I just, I really genuinely like, look at me whenever I say this, I appreciate you guys sharing that. I appreciate you guys listening to it um, and supporting. I know it's not just about supporting me because I do believe like, I mean, I want to give y'all valuable content because I want to do what's right and for my body and I want to be able to give that to y'all as well. So this is a hub place to be able to do that. So if you haven't gone in and watched that video, go and watch that video. Go on to hustlecut.com. You can sign up to receive my emails. Um, once you do that, then like I said, the video you'll receive like whenever my new products come out and things like that. So it's, um, it's pretty exciting for me. I feel like a, I have, <laughs> so I worked out today and these aren't like really cool boxing wraps or anything. It's <laughs> literally just tape that I put over because I ripped twice in a competition, oh. which I won by the way, Ryan Bray, if you're out there watching this, you're welcome. Um, thank you for that big W this morning. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Oh, also Facebook hustle cut. There is now a business page called hustle cut. It's all one word. H U S. P-L-E-C-U-T, Hustle Cut, um, lowercase, all one word. Go on there, like it. I'm trying to move all of my lives onto the business page um, so that way I can kind of keep personal and business separate. And so I'm wanting to move everything in that direction. So if you haven't already, make sure you go on to Hustle Cut, um, like that, follow it so that you can start seeing our lives from there. Eventually, I'm going to transition everything over there, okay? Also, my Instagram hashtag, that has changed as well. It is the Hustle Cut, T H E. Hustle cut, all lower caps. Make sure you follow me from Four Kids Fit Mom. Nothing about that has changed. If you already follow me there, then that's great. Thank you for doing that. If not, then you're gonna look up the Hustle Cut. Follow me on Insta. Okay. All right, man. I feel like that was a workout. I know. I mean, my core is now activated. Okay, for our workout today, 10 minute AMRAP. This is basically something that you can do at home in a hotel room, wherever you're at, all you need is a jump rope. You don't even have to have a jump rope. You can just jump and float, okay? We're starting off with 25 double unders. Um, that just means jump ropes, essentially. If you can do double unders, great. If not, man, try to work on them. Um, I do encourage you to do that. Or you can do 50 singles, and that's completely fine as well, okay? I do want you doing 50 singles, though. That gives you opportunity to get that heart rate up. All right, after that, we're doing 15 running men sit-ups. That's just, it's almost like an alternating V-up. You're going to start on the ground, and you're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? It is a little easier than an alternating via. Literally looks like you're running on the floor. All right, that's 15 total. I know that's an uneven number, but that's okay because you're going to get in more than one round. So, plus if you do an extra sit-up all on side, I don't think your obliques are going to, might make a difference because of it, okay? All right, next, weighted step ups. There's a couple different ways to do this. You can either A, hold those weights in your hand, like Desiree's doing, okay? She's got double dumbbells. She's standing up all the way on the box to make sure that her hips are fully extended. So 
she doesn't get that back pain, okay? Or, yeah, watch your chin. Or you can drop down and do a heavier weight. I like to throw it behind my neck sometimes. I feel like that's a little easier. Um, and you can step up that way, okay? Basically, however, you can hold those dumbbells in a safe position to be able to knock out nine of those, um, then do it. I think I might flip the box and do a little higher today. That's just what I'm feeling, okay? After that, six push-ups. All right, good push-ups. Again, I've seen a lot of you do push-up challenges on um, Facebook. I think a lot of you guys have great push-ups. Maybe some of those that you can work on your push-ups, that's okay, they are hard. Make sure that chest touches and try to keep those hips up off the ground. Touch your chest, hips up off the ground, okay? If you can't do that, drop down to those knees. Again, whenever I was coaching, I would always tell people I would rather see you do good push-ups on your knees than shady push-ups whenever you're trying to do them without being on your knees, okay? Even for the men, especially for the men. I know a lot of you have a hard time going down to your knees. It's gonna make your push-ups better, mark my words. Okay, lastly, super squats. That's gonna be a lunge, a lunge with a squat. Lunge, lunge, squat, that's one. Lunge, lunge, squat, that's two. Those are spicy. Yeah, we're gonna do three of those, okay? 25, 15, 9, 6, 3. That's your rep scheme for today. 10 minute AMRAPs. If you want more, bump up the amount of minutes that you're doing it. Send me your round count. Like I said in my post, almost guaranteed you're probably going to get more than me today. And that's 100% okay. I encourage it. All right. I'm going to change shoes, get music, get on a fan. Let's go. Who is starting with what? Uh, that's a good question. Do you want to start at the top? Sure. And I'll start at a weighted setup.
Thursday. 